Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery and in today's video I want to outline our three most productive soft fruit varieties of the past growing season. Now if you follow my channel closely I'm pretty sure that most of you know that one of my favourite soft fruits are the silverberry. Now this is the silverberry here, it's kind of come to the end of its production line however the reason why I like it so much is not only because of the delicious flavour but also how productive it is and we had a period of about three weeks where we could just come and constantly pick almost as many berries as we wanted and they were so tasty. Now if you don't know what a sylvan berry is it's a cross between a blackberry and a raspberry and there are many different crosses available however this is one of the ones that we're growing and we're really pleased with how it's performing. Red currants were another soft fruit that really stood out in terms of how much we got. As you can see, their season is over, but I'm now showing you some interesting B-roll footage to make it seem a little bit more interesting. Now, red currants have really been one of our staple soft fruits for this season, especially with the amount of puddings we created, such as tarts, cheesecakes, and then we made loads of jams and jellies which are actually really popular up at the stall at the top of our drive where we're selling them there. So red currants have been coping really well and they're also really good for if you have a shady area they're also really productive there. Now I think it was last year I actually created a video where I did hand picking versus picking with a tool and it was really interesting sharing the results and if you want to see that video to see how effective you can be with your time picking soft fruit especially currants such as red currants black currants and white currants then take a look at that video and see for yourself so the final soft fruit i want to go over in terms of productivity is our single grapevine. So in zone seven slash eight, it does vary with us depending on how harsh the winter is. We have struggled to grow grapes before and we've nearly lost this grapevine twice with early frosts, even though it's inside the solar tunnel. However, there are varieties out there which are hardy and we are gonna be trialing those in a year's time. However, this grapevine here is extremely productive all I can see basically are loads of grapes. Now very recently I filmed, however I haven't uploaded an episode for propagating hardwood cuttings from grapevines and I show you the complete process from taking the cuttings to potting on the rooted cuttings and they've been really successful and there'll be a clickable annotation at the end of the video when it is up so if you are interested in propagating them from hardwood cuttings then go for it. So what are we gonna do with the grapes? Well, the main thing I'm gonna do is just eat them fresh from the vine. We will be looking at creating our very first batch of wine, which is really exciting. So there are three most productive soft fruit varieties for this season. However, this season has actually been one of the best soft fruit seasons that we've ever had. And in fact, I've been downplaying the raspberries a lot because we've just been struggling for years and years and this was going to be our last year before we gave up however we actually had a really good healthy crop of raspberries for the first time and other things have been doing really well including the blueberries we've got some new plants and they're doing really well they're finally settling in and we've been having blueberries and pancakes and it's been really tasty also the black currants and white currants have been very productive and the gooseberries. So all in all, it's been a really productive year in terms of soft fruit. And the great thing about soft fruit is that they're perennials. So they're much easier to maintain and they're much easier to organize because you're gonna constantly get yields for years and years to come, which makes them much easier than growing vegetables. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this useful and I would love you to tell me exactly what your three highest yielding soft fruits for this growing season are or were. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram and also subscribe to my YouTube channel where I show you how to grow an abundance of organic produce at home.